Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscars Weekend Webinar. Traders, this week was a pre-holiday week. You have heard me say this to you on many occasions. Any Omniac who is at my site or at my Omni Trading Academy knows how I feel about the week leading up to a major international holiday where the U.S. markets are closed for more than just a weekend, being a three-day weekend. I have said many times, disregard what you see. The market action that takes place during that pre-holiday week is almost always opposite of what you'd expect. The analysis doesn't work properly. Analysts get knocked over. Traders who used to be long get knocked out and end up short and get knocked out because it goes the other way. It's total chaos, traders. I have said this many times over. I've also said things like, don't fall in love with pre-holiday price action, right? Well, I got some charts that I want to show you traders in a moment, and I think it's going to illustrate a little bit about what I'm trying to express when I say, boy, oh boy, do the markets go wacky before a holiday. And I think some of the charts I have to show you are going to present some opportunities there are a multitude of markets that we will have opportunities in. And if you are at our site at www.livewithoscar.com, come trading Monday morning, I will be able to share some of these with you. There are some great picks out there, traders. I'll tell you right now. The S&P, talk about pre-holiday madness. The S&P had a low of 12.53 and a half, rallied $90, $90 this week went all the way up to 13.43 and a half. The Dow 30, the Dow 30, the one that everybody watches, right, has been in a bear market. It rallied from 11,770 up to 12,461. In a bear market, in a bear market, in a bear market, the Dow rallied 691 points. Can you explain that to me? I can't figure it out which is why I chose to give no trade recommendations as we got closer to the end of this trading week. The last one I gave was a March bond sell recommendation. The March bonds dropped. We got out as quick as we could. They turned around and skyrocketed after we were out safely with profits. In the last video, you'll see that we called for the bond trade. Then, of course, the analysis goes wacky as we get closer to the end of the day, and the bonds explode on Thursday, making that trade look like it would have been garbage if you didn't get out quickly like we did at the Omni Trading Academy. Let me take you to some charts now, traders. Remember, make sure that you're at my site and you are in those chat rooms and you are ready for this trading come Monday because there's a lot of opportunities I'm about to show you. In fact, I'm only going to show you a handful of them. There are dozens more, but let's look at these handful now. Let's go to the charts. I'll be right back to you. Okay, traders, the first chart I'm going to show you is the Canadian dollar June daily bar. The Canadian dollar has a textbook bull flag. Here's the pole, here's the flag, has three tests of the bottom, should absolutely begin to break out, has nice support running along the bottom of the flag. What does it do? It goes from 101.21 down to 97.02. 419 points on the wrong side. I am telling you traders, that is a textbook flag that should have easily given us a rally, but what happens during a pre-holiday trading week? The action is insane and you can't count on anything, especially technical analysis. So we end up with a 419 point drop in a market that's been bullish with a bullish flag. There's more coming. Let me show you. Okay, traders, the next chart is the British pound June daily bar. This British pound drops 369 points from 20059 down to 196.90 from last Friday to the close this Thursday, the holiday week, after going up the entire preceding week. Up, up, up we go. It looks really good. It gets above some key averages here. What happens? We get closer to a pre-holiday week. The trading that takes place preceding a holiday, down, 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 and they smash it down for a whopping 369 points in the opposite direction of what you would have expected. Chart number two, let's take a look. 
Okay, traders, the next chart is the Japanese yen June daily bar. As you can see, this is a bull market. Who would argue with that? What does the Japanese yen do this week during the pre-holiday trading, which I tell you all the time will be bizarre? It goes from 104.93 all the way down to 10019. Rallies up slightly, settles at 101.87, drops 306 points from what was a great bull market. All of a sudden, here we are, pre-holiday trading. Look at the smackdown that takes place. Another market that should have been going up, that turns out to be going down instead. 306 points from the high to the low in what was a bull market on the downside. I don't know, you explain that one to me. I think it's exactly what I say. Pre-holiday trading, let's look forward. Okay, traders, the next chart you're going to see is the June dollar index daily bar. And answer this one for me. Where did this market find buyers? The dollar index found buyers and believers. The dollar index. Where were these traders hiding under a rock? This is a bear like you have never seen in a spiral that continues to go down. What happens for pre-holiday trading? It rallies 230 points. Everyone knows the dollar index is in a bear. The whole world is trashing our dollar index. And buyers come out of under rocks and from every direction to buy it leading up to a holiday. I don't believe it, traders. I'll tell you that right now. I don't believe in any of the charts I just shown you. And there is more coming. Take a look at these next ones. Okay, traders, all that glitters is gold, right? You know, haven't you heard that before? Gold's trading higher than anyone's ever seen it. Oh my goodness, the gold market. Well, get this. Gold drops from $1,033.5 per ounce to $904.30. It drops a whopping $129. This is a raging bull and it's going nice and steady and slow all the way up. What happens? Pre-holiday trading, it drops $129. Get out of here. I don't believe that nonsense. Look at this break. Break, break, break. The three days that we got to trade this week, nothing but disaster on the downside. So it puts in new contract highs and drops $129. And you know what? I don't know if you were paying attention to those other charts, but many of them stopped cold at one of our favorite averages that we use here at the Omni Trading Academy. So you have charts doing the exact opposite that you would have expected, the opposite of what their major trend is, and they're hitting our averages and stopping cold. I don't need much more proof to tell me how to trade these things come next week. Make sure you come to my site so I can tell you how to trade them. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, what other metal do we know that's in a raging bull besides gold? Silver, right? Look at this raging bull in silver. Up, 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 we go a little breather. Up, 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 we go new contract highs. Right before the week begins pre-holiday trading. What happens for pre-holiday trading? Silver goes from $21.44 and drops 471 and a half cents. 471 and a half cent decline in a bull market. And where does it go? Bingo, right to a moving average that we like to use here. I am telling you now, I'm not even gonna show you any more charts. Proof is in the pudding right here. These charts have shown you exactly what I warned my Omniax against before we started this week. Watch out for the nonsense action that none of it will make sense. You've seen these charts, traders. Take a look at your own charts and come back to me with what you have found but I assure you I've been doing this for almost 27 years. What I'm pointing out to you is absolutely correct. Be careful around holiday trading. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts. You know what? I warned everybody against this nonsense the whole week, and then I stopped trading by mid-Wednesday, early Wednesday. I was already done. I probably wouldn't have even traded into Wednesday, but we found a good one, so we had to use it. But I'll tell you right now, traders, this is the type of action that you will see leading into a holiday. There are an extreme amount of great trades that we have looked at. I have done some research on. And you know, I'll tell you right now, what I showed you on the board, that's this much of the research I normally do. I haven't even done my research for Sunday night into Monday yet. Wait until I finish that. I'm going to have a lot of goodies for you. So make sure that you are one of our members at the Omni Trading Academy. Again, come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. 
and don't trade alone. Tell me, don't trade alone. I tell you this in every video. I can help you look at these markets in this fashion and teach you some of the things I've learned over my career that can really help you with your trading approach. So make sure that you become an Omniac, get yourselves a membership. Anybody that's a gold member or higher will be privy to these trades. You guys in my premium room, you know I'm going to have some secrets for us there as well, so be stay tuned for that. And you know what? One other market, the CRB that's been in a raging bull with the exception of every now and then a little blip to the downside. That thing dropped 62 full points. So what? Suddenly there's no more inflation? The markets have changed and now the commodity markets are in a bear? I don't think so. I think our stock market's in a bear which acted like a bull this week. I think our commodity markets are in a bull which acted like bears this week. And I'll tell you again, it's because of the pre-holiday trading. Take this video and heed its warning for the next major holiday traders because you will see the absolute reverse of this nonsense I just showed you behind me on those charts come this trading week. All right, traders, again, don't trade alone. Please don't try this by yourselves. We can help you here at the Omni Trading Academy. If you like this video, traders, we have a lot of videos like this. We're close to 290 videos already on YouTube waiting for you to learn from Many chart techniques I have taught in those videos, and if you go follow each one of those videos and learn from them, you can catch up with us Omniacs and come to the site and be one of the students here because believe me, there are a lot of traders learning a lot of great tricks and idiosyncrasies, if you will, in how to get in and out of these markets successfully. Now make sure you go to the YouTube spot. It's www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. When you get there, subscribe to the video so you are notified the moment we get a video out. Traders, keep sending those emails. Please, the emails are doing great. I love answering those emails. I love the give and take between us here at the Omni Academy. And you traders who do your homework and email it to us. So be sure to email your homework to Oscar at futuresanalysts.com. Of course, you can call us. And you know we're here. We'll be here on the holiday. We'll be here every day. We're here 24-7. And you give us a buzz at 702-629-4755 and we'll help you with anything that you need if you need to learn about trading, computers, the type of computers you need for the trading, you name it, you call us, we will help you. That's what we do here at the Omni Trading Academy. All right, traders, I want to try to enjoy the rest of my weekend and then do a whole lot of analysis for what's coming next week. Make sure you do your own analysis and don't forget to say this to yourselves every day. Say it every morning, every afternoon. Say it while you're having your holiday dinner because right after it, markets are going to open and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.